what is up everybody man it is gorgeous out actually it's a little cold for me you know you guys probably make fun of me because i don't even know what it is but it's probably like 60 or something and it's like not cool anyways today we're doing kind of a vlog but we are doing stuff the two pacers man you remember the green the green goblin or whatever i don't know this thing's terrible but it's a parts car and it goes with the sale of the white car that was my one i was like dude you're taking the green car because i don't want it anymore so that car is going uh and then this car will come back and pick it up we're gonna drag it it's way across town so it makes a lot more sense for me to just tow it hit the freeway take off um and then we're gonna hang out with junior show him a little bit on the car uh, there's just like kind of a lot of little things like that i'm doing around the house that's what we've been getting after um, we're looking kind of clean in the front yard i'm digging it I'm trying to clean up my area not look like complete slob we're also packing the cars in at a storage spot that i have my stepdad lets me use i probably won't video too much of it because it's his place of business but he does have a little section of his yard that he lets me throw some cars in which is making life really nice <laughs> i really appreciate that don't think you watch the videos but thanks man i appreciate it um and if you do touche right now I'm gonna go ahead and take this first load over there and then we're actually picking up a project today too that is just a small project and it's nothing crazy but we'll, we'll show you that all right let's get to it one down one to go actually two to go we gotta get the white one bring it over here and then we also have to get the other car i get black i get my face all dirty man i'll watch that face the money maker Junior, getting a uh, old pacemaker ready to go. Look, we took the camper uh, shell off of Bowser because I have to do some yard work and I need to be able to get in the bed. Man, that thing's looking pretty good, man. Look at you. The only thing that's a bummer, the older dude I got it from cut out the tent in the back, so it looks all stupid, but get this bed cleaned up. We'll get uh, pacer loaded up. Be headed back to his house. I think he's super pumped, man. How could you not be? Look at that, look at that piece, man. Woo! excited whatsoever about the car thinks it's totally lame <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> here we are home sweet home man bowser looking naked dude looking nice <laughs> so we just left juniors and i was gonna kind of hit you guys really quick with something funny i'm doing not the best job of vlogging today we'll see how the video comes out but <laughs> We grabbed some nice lunch and we had we had a really good time hanging out. We moved both cars, which we live on the other side of Tucson from each other. So it's been it's been a lot of work, but we got it done. We got to hang out, which was fun. But um, we had the car parked there like you saw in front of his neighbor's house. And his neighbor legitimately thought that the car was abandoned. Like he pulled up, got home from wherever he was at after, uh, after we had unloaded it. And he was talking to his kids and we were just listening and he was i couldn't catch it on camera because it was so he was so quiet but he was like he was like oh my god what are we gonna do like someone must have just left it here and like me and junior were dying laughing and then uh he pretty much just like talked shit to junior about like oh good luck with this you know like 
take some pictures as you build it. I was like, it's already built. <laughs> so, any rate, pretty freaking hilarious. Uh, I got some cool LS headers back there that Junior picked up for James off of Facebook Marketplace for uh, the engine stand. James has an engine run stand, so now we have something to run some LSs on there with. Um, so I'm gonna drop them off. They live pretty close to, to each other. And then I gotta book it all the way back home. But when I get to James's house, I'm gonna see if I can bother him and we can check out the L29, the issues that he's had and resolved. So uh, we'll see if we can poke him on that. Other than that, that's about it for today. The other car we were gonna pick up, um, it kind of fell through for today. So tomorrow we'll be picking up two cars on a long day tomorrow. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So I finally convinced James <laughs> to, to show us what we're doing here. Um, I kind of caught him off guard. So this is going to be a quick overview of like the issues having with the retainers on the L29 454 build. So I'm going to flip around really quick and let him kind of explain. <clears throat> All right. Comp sells you these beehives. Beehives? With this retainer. Okay. And then they sell you, where do you go? This 16-16. So. The valve lock. Basically, if you put the valve back in, you have this. The locks they give you are a plus 50. So, so basically, once you get the valve seal back on, you got these on, you, you'll basically measure from here to the bottom of the where the valve seal sits. Okay. And we need at minimum on the exhaust side six, I'm sorry, 544 for the cam. So <clears throat> it has to be a plus 50 for this combination to work. Okay. So, okay, we think life is good. And then, so we take their, their locks, put it on. And then all of a sudden, we have what looks to be a problem. An issue. It looks totally flat. Which is no good. So if, if you're not oh. tracking, then, then you can't let the, the roller rocker or the stamped rocker, whatever you have, isn't able to ride cleanly on the, the valve tip, right? All right. So I called comp and I was like, hey, this is the combination you guys said to use, you know, to make this happen. Because I validated it with them to make sure it was right. Right. And... The guy's like, well, it should be okay. <laughs> so out of all the research I can find, and it's very hard to come up with, but I found these plus 50s from Crower. Now, Crower apparently doesn't know if their stuff fits anybody else's. <laughs> Tech guy's a little bit of a dick. But anyways, <laughs> I got these, and they were plus 50, 10 degree. And bam. Now we have space. We have some space. And then also you were mentioning that these are for lash caps, right? So that's why you have Correct. that extra the cutout. The extra cutout around the valve. Whereas like you see how that's thicker. Now you just have more space for the rocker arm or whatever it is to so if we, the tip. If we check this now from the base of the uh, retainer to the top of where the, the of the seal, I got about five hundred and eighty thousandths. Which is what we need. Perfect. Yeah. So now we can move onward. Uh, that's what that was what was kind of holding us up this past week or so. And it's just little things like that or that you might run into, but maybe uh if you're doing this, this will help you. So that's what you need. <laughs> I'm gonna get you this part number off of this. This is the valve springs. These are the anti-rotators. These that's are the, the part number. Anti-rotators <clears throat> that go down at the bottom. This sits at the bottom of the spring, right? Yes. Yep, there you go. And then here are the retainers. These are the retainers. Sweet. So if you step up and find a set of these, I was lucky to find Boom. this set on eBay. And it was very, it was a lot cheaper than what most people were asking. So what did you have into, do you, originally, off the top of your head, what you originally had? Originally I had 305 into this. Okay. And then I got these with shipping. I want to see for, uh, these were 52 with shipping. Okay. So maybe if you didn't buy yeah, if you these didn't buy there, these here. Yeah, so basically you just want the different valve locks and then you're in business. But if you if you go to CarCraft and you type in Vortec budget build right. on the internet for CarCraft, Richard Holder did that build. 
I actually tried messaging him to find out what he used and he actually responded, but he didn't make any sense in his response. Anyways, if you look at his picture, this is exactly what he did. Okay, the yeah, these right. retainers with the lash Just, cap style. It makes, I mean, it looks really way better, obviously, than, than it did before. And you got quite a bit of extension there on the valve tip. What usually happens is on, I have a bunch of dual valve springs that are takeoffs from the crate motors. Okay. So <clears throat> usually we just cut the, the top of the guy down enough to get the extra space to leave this flush. Oh, okay. So what they're doing is, is they're doing a plus 50 on this valve, uh, the valve locks to move it up further so you can still get your space without having to modify the top So you don't have to cut the guide. Right. Basically, so like the guy at home can Correct. go ahead and buy these and then you're not doing anything as far as cutting, you're just putting those on and now you're rolling. Then we got the, the lifters for both motors. Oh, all, nice. All uh, so cleaned up and soaking. Both motors, you can build multiple motors at once. That's what it's all about. <laughs> now, what, are, what were the, the lift capabilities on these springs? I don't know. Because because isn't it the, it's not really the spring that's the issue, it's the piston to valve that you start to run into on these? Correct. With the bigger cams? But this, the, this is supposed to be like uh, 155 at the seat. So it's supposed to work out. And I have a whole, you know, one of the uh, manual checkers. Yeah. Once we get it on. We're supposed to have like 155 at the C is what they're saying with being plus 50. Okay, because that does change it, right? Right. So, and what, what I did is I had a standard set of caps here. So actually, sorry, I was just thinking in my head. So like that actually has a different. Right, that's the plus 50. Let's see. Here's a standard one. There's where it locks in. You can see it's different there. So that's in the center. This is a, this is a standard There's set. A, okay, yeah. The problem is, is I tried these, and these are for a lash cap. But oh. it, it puts me into the guide. Okay. So I got to have that 50,000th cushion. Well, that, that makes sense. That looks like it's going to be a lot better than the alternative. So there you go. There you have it. That's what you need. It's one of the key components here. And then uh, what was the cam that we're running again? We mentioned it earlier, but might as well throw it out since we're doing all this. What was the uh, GM? The 502. 502, 502, 527 on the intake, 544 on the exhaust. Is that like eBay? Can you buy those on eBay or like you can, Summit or, or something? Or you can buy them off of Summit brand new for like 236. That's not bad. Then you got a hydraulic roller, right? <laughs> right. These are like 220, 228, 234, 50, I think. Got on a 110. That's perfect. So we're, we'll, go, we'll get back to rolling on this. He's going to do these. And we might have him film it while we're not here. He's going to get the heads ready. Then we'll come back and we'll get the rest of the motor uh, assembled. It's over there getting ready. And do a whole video on that. And then I guess we could, at that point, pretty much start pulling the other motor out, huh? Of the Tempest? Yeah. Yeah, and then get to it. Get to making some burnouts with Gen 6 goodness. Cool, man. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. So how many do we have here? Of one, two... And then are they like multiplying? Are they having children or something? Or what's happening? It's just this time of the month. <laughs> Another one. Bam. What's that going in? Probably the 72 Chevelle. 72 Chevelle. See, at some point, you just start getting into like, you just don't even know. They're just laying around everywhere. <laughs> so I realized that I did not shoot an outro video. And as... Our killer uh, pit bull here <laughs> attacks attacks Katie. Mm -hmm. uh, I figured I'd shoot something really quick just to wrap up everything. It was just a cool vlog day. I kind of wanted to see how that worked, and I think it came out pretty good. We went and hung out, got to see Junior get his car delivered, which is pretty rad. Got to hang out with him all day, and then also see James. And I'm really excited to see how the L29 comes out. I, I think it's pretty rad to see something like that go in a car NA and perform really well and then hopefully we can like you know spray it or put like turbos on it or something because I'm totally into that as for tomorrow I'm actually doing car guy stuff all day tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up another car <laughs> at this point I just can't stop it actually two because today we didn't pick up the one that we were supposed to pick up for the small project that I told you about so I will also film tomorrow and maybe we'll have enough stuff in the next week for a Thursday video if not you'll catch it Saturday that's it for me, guys. Have a good weekend. I'm out. Peace.